I think a funny part was when they were talking about their favorite sex positions and she didn't get the, you know, why did like why would this be your, you know, the best position and stuff like that? Um I don't know, man. That that couple there is like she's gonna say yes to him because of the idea of marriage. Mm-hmm. And he's gonna say, I don't know what he's gonna say, man. He's a he's a you know, he's a toss up from week to week, man. He is, man. I thought that part was funny, too, because I thought Mitch was like a uh, high school kid, right? Because every time they talk about sex, he was laughing and giggling, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. You're, the oldest one, you're the oldest one on the show. You're 41 years old, right? Yeah. And you're laughing and giggling about doggy style, right? You're laughing and giggling about cuddling or you're laughing and giggling about all these other things. Like, at what point do you, as, as Mitch, what point do you grow up, right? At mm. what point you say, you know what? My wife doesn't like laughing and giggling. I'm going to keep that crap. I'm going to keep that to myself. Right, I, uh, well, I think it's fun. What he said, uh, all the all the sounds and stuff that goes on. Oh yeah, he he was like, it's the weird sounds, it's the human fluids. I was like, oh my god, really? <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, I understand laughing, I understand, but like, like I said, Tommy, I'm like you. You know, I go back to what I said. I wanted to know what he said. I wanted mm-hmm. Mitch to. What did he say? What did he do? And we already know Kristen was like, it ain't lasting long anyway. So what did he do in those time span? To make her really say, you know what, I ain't giving this dude no more sex. Because remember, if you think about it, go back to previous episodes. That's what she wanted to do. She was ready. She was she was quick and she was ready to like, yo, I want to get them sheets with my husband. I want I want to have sex with my husband. I want to have sex with my husband. And now she has sex with him, and that junk cooled off. And Mitch is like, hold up, what's going on? Yeah, is it laughing. Is it my? You know what? It, what? It, what is it? What's causing this to the, the stop? Even when she said her favorite position, he was like, he came selfish. Oh, yeah, that's how that's the way I finish. Or something like he said. Something right, smart. right. Yeah, something smart. I'm like, yo, dog, shut up. Keep it. Keep it, man. It's it's yeah. so you don't have to say everything that comes up, man. Keep it tight to the best. I, I like that she said, now come on, you know, you've been married for a while like us, you know, not for a while, not the same time span, but you know, yeah, for a yeah, while. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So once you done got it. You know, you can make you can be like, oh, you made this stupid face. Yeah, right. But right. You're not gonna say that at the beginning. No, no. <laughs> you're not, you know, uh, you're not because she'll be like, What? I'll make my stupid face at home, then don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry about it. So I think he probably was like, Oh, you sound, you know, you sound stupid, or why you look like that? Why you move? And she was like, wait, what? Why you make those sounds? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> why, you, why you sound like that? <laughs> you know, like, mm-mm. So, yeah, it, like she said, it's probably some stuff that later on, after you've been with somebody for a while, it'd be fine to say because you're comfortable with each other. But in the beginning, you're self-conscious. So you can't be like, oh, you got a dimple right there. Oh, look at that. Look, so but you look, <laughs> just move like that. Oh, my gosh. Turn the lights back on or turn them off, you know, know? but um, I was just like, because he, I mean, he's not lying. It is some funny things that can happen, but again, not right now, sir. Wait till later. Don't embarrass her. Um, But yeah, she has to be comfortable with that, though. That's crazy because in the middle, you can't do it in the middle of it. It's okay. Y'all finish and, you know, you laying in bed and talking to each other. Yeah. Thank you. Kind of joking and playing stuff like that, Thank but you. in the middle of it, you in you in uh you you working. <laughs> you me, I said the same thing. I said now after the fact, you know, you can reflect back and be like, bro, you made this really silly face. Right. I, you know, you I was like, wow, okay, uh, what are you looking at? But after right, so you're gonna ruin the mood, I'm telling you. Things gonna start shutting down. Yeah, like no, nope. it's already shut down for him. I mean, it's shut down enough to hear to bring it up because Mitch wants it. No, she... no, no. I'm talking about like Tommy oh. said. If you say this in the middle of the act, oh, yeah. it's going to shut down. It's like I, ain't, I don't even want. I don't want to do it no more. That's yeah. okay. Yeah, it's... you know, it had to be something she was self conscious about for yes. her to just completely yes. be like, no, we're not gonna do it, and and like not not in a like we'll get over this type of deal but it was like a kind of like you have to build that back up again uh, you know type of deal it's <laughs> ain't like you're being punished for like a week but it's it's like this is indefinite until <laughs> right. 
But like you guys said, you got to know your spouse, though, man. You got to be able to know your spouse, know what they're self-conscious about, what they like, what they can't, mm-hmm. what they don't like, how to do this, how to do that. And at this point in their marriage, five weeks, you, he should still be asking questions, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. He, right. They should still be exploring themselves sexually. All right. What do you like? You like this? Do you like that? How do you? I mean, they, they finally ask the question. She like, you didn't know she liked doggy style after five weeks. You know what I'm saying? So it's like wh- y'all should have had that conversation on the honeymoon or should have yeah. matter of fact, you had that conversation the first time you had sex. Like, what do you like, right? Right. So, but, they, but a lot of people don't, though. Let's not just put it on there. A lot of people don't even have that conversation. Just go wow. on and, and, and figure it out but, as you go along. But you know what? That's a problem, though, because guess what? Uh, and I'm, I'm saying that we all grown on this spot. On this spot, it's a problem because you can't treat your your current mate like your old mate because right. they they don't like may not like the same thing, right? right? Because she did she odd and ood here or he odd and ood it ha odd and ood there, right? Uh, it doesn't mean that person is going to like that. They may not like that. Mm-hmm. So therefore, you have to have those conversations and you should have those conversations. That's what I'm saying. I, I agree you should, but it don't always happen. It doesn't always happen, but you should because what happened is you come in there because your heart can get broken as a dude because you know the last chick you were with, you did this, this, and this, and it was like, yo, smack, you smack it, rub it, rip, flip, uh, rub it down, and, and like, it was the oh, world. No. You know, <laughs> so, and, right? and, and everything was great, and you go to this new girl or this new person why are you so rough and you putting on your you putting the, you putting your best moves in and she like i ain't do nothing for me <laughs> <laughs> you put your back into it <laughs> no i think i think miguel came into the not miguel but uh who we talk about mitch i think mitch came into this situation as a with a unique position because he hadn't gotten in it in a in a long time Right. So there's there's the opportunity to have the conversation when we do lay down to have sex. Be like, yo, I haven't had sex in a while. Guide me through this thing so I can please you. You know, right. it's a simple conversation. And then that allows her to tell him and show him what she likes. Because for men, like, it doesn't take much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we pretty much end that thing, you know. <laughs> So it's it's like, what do you like? What do you want me to do? And that's what I'm going to do because I haven't, I don't have the experience to like, we're going into this thing brand new and I don't have the experience behind me as, as sex being a regular thing in my everyday life, you know, and then you're new. So this is the opportunity for you to teach me how to please you. Having that conversation in the beginning does not put him in a position where he at now five weeks in and she's like no you know mm-hmm. because it's uh what do what was Janet Jackson's song it's the pleasure principle right you know I want that pleasure you know what I'm saying so I don't know that's a whole different topic <laughs> yeah, that's a whole different podcast. The, the only but other we're, gonna, thing we're gonna do that together. August Love this. Story, Jackie Glenn. Yeah. <laughs> hey, set it up, man. Set it up. Nah. <laughs>